Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about the image cropping. So welcome in another tutorial of MATLAB image processing. The main reason for creating this video is a comment under the region cropping video where a user asked how to crop a bounding box returned from the region cropping function. So we are going to answer this question so uh, in this tutorial. So let's get started. First of all, let's load a video. Uh, I'm going to load a t1.jpg image that we are using uh, in this tutorials uh, so far. Uh, so let's uh, look at this image. This is a fine looking apple image. Uh, first of all, what is a Im uh, image cropping? Well, if you want to crop a certain area of a big image, you can do this with an image crop. How to do this? Well, let's see. Here you can see that let's make an x small object with the image crop function so we have i am crop function provided under the matlab image processing toolbox when we provide a image to this function it will crop apply as well we can crop this like this so we can draw a rectangle a region of interest or our area where we want to crop and when we hit enter it will crop that image or if we double click it will crop it and return your image in a x small image so that is the same size of the original image so if we show this image like it will be the cropped version of the original image that you just cropped out well and uh, if you see the size of this it will be a rgb image or three-dimensional image well that was not all about the image cropping the main reason for creating this video as i had talked before that how to crop a bounding box returned from the region cropping image if you haven't watched the region cropping video before you can check out the link in the description or from the i uh, notification above the video well uh, let's load a video but uh, let's load an image which we can use for today's video uh, this is a image of circles bright and dark and this is how it looks like this image is provided under the matlab image processing toolbox so if you have matlab image processing toolbox installed this image is by default in your toolbox so all you have to do is just read it with the name circles bright dark dot png and you will be get like this so let's uh, convert this image into a binary with a quick trick of thresholding let's say because this image is already a grayscale image of u int type 8 like you can see the size of this x it is a 512 by 512 image so it is a grayscale or two dimensional image already so we can directly convert it to the binary image uh, with just a logical operator all the values less than 100 so if you see this image like bw you can see a binary image like this so it is a quick trick to convert a grayscale image with the threshold value uh, so now we have these three objects so if we want to crop these three objects one by one and into a separate image how to do this well before uh, doing this let's uh, create a um, region cropping we haven't uh, converted this in binary image into a logical image by passing the bw label or bw connected component function but here i am going to talk about if we are only concerned about the default connectivity which is a four uh, dimensional uh, or a four level connectivity not the modified eight level connectivity we can directly pass the binary image to the region prop function just like uh, now I am going to do this so um, region region prop and uh, pass the image which is a binary image and if I do not provide any argument uh, or I provide a basic 
argument like this it will return the default stats which will include the area of the found object and centroid and the bounding box so this struct is four by one it means that it found a total four objects so why four uh, why not just three because we have three objects in the image and one object is of this whole image second one is this one and third and fourth or any order it presents so how to get these images well uh, it is a very simple task all we have to do is to pass a bounding box to the image crop function we can do this by let's say bb2 is equal to stack and uh, here I am getting the second uh, value of the bounding box and uh, dot bounding box. So it will return a second bounding box and here you can see it has 81 by 81 size. So if you are concerned with all the bounding boxes, you can see that the biggest one have 512 by 512 bounding box uh, height and width. So first is the X and Y and then uh, height and width. So here we see that we have a 100 by 100 object, then 110 by 111 and 81 and 81. So that's the case. Now we are going to crop this uh, bounding box from the original image. Uh, we can crop from any image from the grayscale or the binary one. Uh, in my case, I'm going to crop this image from the binary image. So let's say I call this as object 2 and I'm going to using the same function image crop and providing the BW. So if I do not provide a second argument, it will provide user to select the region to crop but i am giving him a bounding box to crop by default so this time it will not display a window or a figure of the image and will not ask user to uh, specify the area to crop because we are explicitly providing the area to crop which is a bounding box returned from the region prop function so when I hit enter, as you can see, it is returned an object to, and if I display this object to, it will be returned like this. So now you have this image. Um, one more thing, uh, how about to automate this task and uh, display all the images from uh, the, all the objects from the binary image we can do this let's see how or uh, what size of uh, stat we have uh, well uh, to automate this task what we are going to do is uh, first of all let's make sure that uh, it, it is empty uh, stat this will return zero if this uh, stat uh, variable is not empty and will return one if this stat variable is empty so we, before uh, uh, passing on this, uh, uh, before doing any further processing uh, up on the bounding boxes or to start cropping, we need to make sure that this uh, stat is not empty. Uh, so uh, let's, uh, we can create a loop uh, on this image like this uh, for if you want to create a new script. So we can do this uh, just like this and uh, M show X and we can apply the original image and uh, next we can do up convert this to binary and uh, with this binary we can uh, compute the stats from the region props function and apply this and we need just the basic statistics or uh, in our case, we just need the bounding box. So let's make sure that if uh, not is empty uh, stat and uh, 
create a for loop of i starting from 1 to size um, stat and 1 and let's end this for loop as well and now all we have to do is to crop an image OB, uh, let's compute a BB. First of all, the bounding box, and we can take this like a bounding box. And uh, with this bounding box, we can crop an object uh, with the help of im crop function. And we need to pass on the image to crop from and the bounding box uh, to crop. Well, uh, now we will get a bounding box. We can display this bounding box object, the cropped one object from the original image. So that is all for this script. We can save the crop bounding box with and uh, let's run this script. And this is an original image. Now we have automatically crop down all over three objects or the four one this is the biggest one and now we have this one the whole image and that three objects crop from this one so um, that was all about the cropping of the bounding box from a region prop returned labeled image so in this tutorial we had I had talked about how to quickly convert an image into a binary with just a simple logical statement which is in our case is excess x is less than 100 and the second thing uh, we can directly pass the binary image to the region prop function if we are only concerned with the default uh, default connectivity so if we are not concerned with the 8 level connectivity we can directly pass the binary image to the region prop and it will automatically convert that image into a labeled image uh, and the region prop can compute multiple uh, properties uh, statistical properties uh, one of which is the bounding box so if we are only concerned about all the available objects in the binary image we can just uh, compute the bounding box and we can apply a for loop onto that return the statistics bounding boxes and because uh, the returned uh, variable which is stat is a uh, uh, structure so we need to apply this uh, we can access or uh, individual element of by applying a parenthesis to the stat and uh, after that we need to provide a dot and after that the pro name of the property of this uh, this structure so we can access a single element from the returned uh, structure element of the uh, statistic computed from the region props and we can crop this bounding box with the help of image crop function we had seen that if we do not provide a second argument to image crop it will uh, uh, present the image to the user and ask user to select a region to crop but if we provide a rectangle to this image crop function it will automatically uh, crop that area and return that image into a variable that we had placed on the left hand side and uh, we can uh, display that image as well or apply any further processing we require so that's all and stay tuned if you required more uh, tutorials for this uh, matlab image processing python opencv related and other technical related stuff so stay tuned and please subscribe thank you so much